welcome back and for the fourth consecutive year the Ministry of Health according to the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi have announced of examining 1,745,000 and 408 students as part of the presidential initi initiative 1,000 uh, uh, million uh, or 100 million uh, lives uh, uh, testing or detecting a liver C virus under this particular slogan that has been on and on and have been uh, affecting wonders amongst uh, Egyptian uh, society and the, the citizens to shed more light over this very important uh, initiative uh, in its uh, fourth year. We're very delighted to be having with us here live in the studio Dr. Imen Marzou and she's a professor of virology. Good morning Dr. Good Marzou. Good morning. Thanks for the invitation. So, uh, uh, that sounds wonderful. For the fourth consecutive year, 100 uh, million lives is continuously continuing with great success and achieving uh, um, lots of services uh, for citizens on different fields. Mm -hmm. This time, it is detecting the liver C virus mm -hmm. among students only or uh, everywhere like uh, all the other initiatives. Uh, yes, it began from uh, October 2018. Mm. Uh, the initiative began to uh, protect and prevent, uh, protect people against the uh, virus C infection and also a non communicable disease like diabetes, uh, obesity, hyper, uh, hypertension, so uh, a lot of uh, non communicable disease also. Uh, so from uh, 2018 till now, a lot of achievements uh, has already achieved uh, in the sector and uh, nowadays uh, they began with the students uh, also to uh, make early detection of viral uh, virus C infection uh, and uh, try to uh, eradicate the virus early from uh, Egypt. Because mm. you know, uh, hepatitis C is a, a main health concern. Um, it can make a lot of mortalities, and uh, more than uh, seven uh, percent of the population already infected with hepatitis C, and uh, a lot of people are uh, zero positive. So uh, it uh, it can be uh, considered as a health threat. So uh, the efforts of health ministry in the sector is very important. Right. If you could kindly, most importantly, you have to give a definition of uh, the characteristics of liver uh, virus C. Yeah. Um, what is it like? Uh, what are the dangers of this uh, virus and how is it circulated? Uh, whom does it, it attack or target and all mm. these things? Okay, uh, virus C infection is a chronic infection. Mm. Caused, uh, virus C is one of the uh, vi uh, viruses that can affect the livers. Uh, uh, there is a virus E, uh, B, C, D, and E. A lot of viruses that can affect the liver and, and make hepatitis. But virus C is one of the dangerous viruses that can affect the liver and infect the livers and can lead to uh, hepatocellular carcinoma also. So mm. uh, a lot of mortalities can be uh, happened uh, due to the infection with virus C. It's a chronic infection. It can be uh, transmitted. Yes, it's a chronic infection. Take a long time mm. to induce severe symptoms and affect the liver in bad way. So uh, it can uh, lead to cirrhosis. It can lead to uh, uh, just the inflammation can be mild for many years. And after that, it can be more uh, dangerous and uh, develop the uh, carcinoma and the cancerous disease and uh, uh, threatening life. So in that way, it can also transmit it by a uh, different way. But the main way is a wrong way of injection, contaminated syringe, uh, contaminated uh, blood transfusion, some, uh, something like that. So uh, mm -hmm. it can affect uh, people, adults and also uh, young and teenagers. So from 15 till uh, 70 years, uh, all these population can be affected by that virus age range. infection. Very good. But how do I get infected? I'm from many from blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. What else? What are the main things that contaminated we should... needles, contaminated syringe, tattoo, uh, some cosmetic uh, uh, procedures that can yeah. lead to infection. So, uh, but the main is not only cosmetic. All surgical, like surgical operations, for yes, example? Yes, if there is any uh, contamination of uh, blood uh, uh, transfusion in a uh, bad way without sterilization and disinfection, it can lead to transmission of this disease. Mm. And, I mean, how do we guarantee that uh, all the uh, tools could be uh, sterilized wherever we go for any type of surgical operation or 
Uh, it's a responsibility of the health organizations. Uh, yeah. uh, a lot of uh, uh, procedures uh, can uh, can be done to sterilize materi uh, materials and syringe and all uh, uh, tools and apparatus used in, uh, during surgery or during or uh, using a syringe or something like that, uh, blood testing. So in that case, we can uh, say that the, this blood is free from virus C, is free from AIDS, is free from any uh, in infection. In that way, we can protect ourselves and also the health organization has a great role in that way. Mm. Uh, if we have like a wound or something and uh, we are, uh, I mean, connecting with someone or, uh, I mean, does it, can it be transmitted through no, connection with people? it can be a rare uh, uh, way of transmission. Mm. It can't uh, lead to transmission of virus C infection. So it's very important that we go and we analyze our blood and take uh, several tests or how do we detect? The, uh, Nowadays, the uh, Ministry of Health makes a screening test, random screening test in many governorates. Uh, so in that way, they can detect early the people that already infected. And also, many people uh, recognize that they are infected with virus C and that they have no symptoms due, uh, during this campaign of Ministry of Health. So uh, sometimes a, a, a person can carry the infection without uh, inducing any symptoms. Mm. And after some time, and, uh, or if he exposed to any stress, the virus can uh, be activated and uh, induce the severe symptoms. Okay. So if we make uh, a continuous checkup and uh, mm. uh, blood testing, we can uh, recognize. Like every six now, months or every year? Yes, every, every six, uh, six months is, uh, is okay. And also now uh, these campaigns uh, uh, go to different uh, gov uh, governorates in Egypt and they make this a screening test. Uh, randomly and also due uh, among the students and among uh, a preparatory stage uh, school students so they can detect uh, the early infection. Right. How long does it take to show? I mean, how long does it take uh, a person to show that he has virus C? Uh, it differs from person to another person. Usually, to what is the longest uh, time? Uh, maybe six months to... Uh, no, not six years? No, no, no. Maybe months. So throughout a year, definitely. Any so, but dragon. it can be mild without severe symptoms, so we can't recognize that there is a, a, a severe infection with virus C. We can say that uh, I have uh, some problems, another, infec uh, another infection, I didn't go to the lab to make uh, a PCR yeah. to detect which uh, type of infection that I uh, So I there have. are different types so of infection. But at the same time, I wanted to say that, can, is this one of the viruses that it could, when it's mild, it can be okay. You can, I mean, I can get cured out of it without even going to the doctor, without even noticing? Uh, without even noticing, yes, it can be uh, like that, but it can be also um, a mutant for mm. some time, and after that, it activates again. So if we detect it early, we take the appropriate uh, treatment against this type of infection, we can cure uh, uh, early. Mm. If we didn't know that we have this type of virus, it can affect the liver in that way and take long time and it can lead to carcinoma. So if we make early detection and they take the appropriate uh, treatment, it will be uh, better. Mm. And like you said, it is targeting uh, not only students, but targeting everyone. Mm -hmm. Targeting most importantly women, because pregnant women, uh, I mean the case of pregnant women also, it is dangerous. If a, a, a pregnant woman is uh, infected with the virus, what is the situation then? Uh, it, uh, it's very important to, to make all uh, the tests before uh, make a plan for this pregnancy. Is a, is a woman must make all blood testing and know if there is any severe infection or not and take the treatment before the, uh, the gestation period. But if happened during the gestation period, uh, sure the doctor according to the situation uh, make a balance between giving a treatment and the antiviral medication or uh, it can be safe for the baby or not. How do you see the keenness of the Egyptian administration mm -hmm. and the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, concerning in his consideration uh, of giving priorities, mm -hmm. first priorities, to the health of Egyptian citizens with all its sectors? Mm -hmm. Like you said, he has been dedicating great space to women and then to students and mm -hmm. then to pregnant women and again, different v viruses. Mm -hmm. How do you assess this? 
uh, it's very important that uh, the political will uh, focus on the uh, quality of life for uh, Egyptian citizens mm. because if we want to a productive citizen so we must focus on education we must focus on uh, health status of the citizens uh, so the initiative of uh, the president Abdel Fattah Sisi was very important to push the governmental efforts towards the health sectors and the give all uh, uh, appropriate care to the Egyptian citizen and to try to protect them from communicable and non-communicable disease. It's very important and make all the governmental efforts uh, try to achieve uh, this goal in uh, short mm. uh, way. In a very short mm. uh, pace of time. How do you see also the insistence of the Egyptian leadership uh, to uh, apply the uh, uh, universal health insurance system mm -hmm. despite the what we're going through the economic uh, crisis and everything but still President Sisi is very keen on uh, providing all citizens with universal uh, health insurance. Yes it's very important because if we don't have a good health we can't be productive anymore so uh, to apply the universal health insurance for all sectors and uh, try to uh, face this challenge because as you mentioned that it's economical challenge also mm. so uh, if we try to apply that in better way and it's already begun in uh, three it has stages. been applied in many governments yes mm. it's uh, applied in uh, different stages and they began with the, uh, the governorate with low income so in that way the, the Egyptian citizen can uh, take the appropriate care and uh, be productive and also uh, feel with the a, a, a country responsibility toward him. So it's a very important point to apply all uh, stages in, the, in all governorates of Egypt as soon as possible. And so it's they going try to cover now all the second, yeah, cover the second all stage. The, mm. Mm. Cover all the viruses and uh, you know the different uh, health problems that uh, citizens... Sure, sure, sure. Uh, even communicable and non-communicable disease. And mm. it's uh, very important to say that uh, non-communicable disease in Egypt represent 70% of mortality. So we must, uh, uh, which uh, non-communicable disease like obesity, like hypertension, like diabetes, and it's uh, related, to, um, related to the lifestyle. Mm. So if we uh, make massive campaigns, like uh, what we have, uh, what the Ministry of Health ha uh, make today, uh, massive campaigns for awareness, improve the awareness of the uh, society and the community towards the health problems, towards the lifestyle, how to eat a healthy uh, diet. Nutrition uh, uh, nu Yes, nutri uh, about nutrition, sports, and uh, uh, avoid smoking and bad habits. It will be uh, very important and improve our health and also reduce the, the cost of treatment. In, uh, of uh, if we have a good, uh, good awareness uh, towards health problems, we will uh, reduce the money that uh, uh, be very costed to the country. And save it for something else yes. uh, much more for important. That development. Uh, and also building the Egyptian society, building the, like, uh, according to President Sisi's quotes, building the Egyptian uh, character and the Egyptian uh, sure. citizen at the same time. But uh, still with the um, uh, combating liver C virus, uh, the success of combating that particular virus uh, have made it a hub for the treatment of the health problem. So if you like to elaborate of uh, combating and conquering the mm. virus C, mm. and Egypt have taken a leap in that. Mm. Yes. It was mentioned before. Mm. So if you like to give us your thoughts about it. Okay, uh, if we talk about virus C as one of the uh, uh, health threats, so we must mention that, that there is a different levels of uh, prevention of any uh, viral infection like virus C. Mm. Primary level of prevention that uh, uh, focus and depends on the early detection and the diagnosis of the in this type of infection. Like this initiative. Yes. Mm. And the second uh, secondary level of prevention that depends on the uh, providing treatment for the infected people uh, and this is uh, uh, the second stage and this is also included in the initiative yes mm. it's already included in the initiative from mm. uh, 2018 mm. the third our treasury uh, level of prevention that uh, depends on the rehabilitation uh, or how to make the people after treatment uh, be able to work and uh, something like that psychological factor uh, different way of rehabilitation mm. so th uh, there are three types of uh, pre uh, pre uh, prevention and 
and it's all primary, covered secondary. by the initiative. Yes, it's mm -hmm. already covered by the initiative, the early detection, providing a treatment uh, for the uh, diagnostic uh, cases, and also follow-up. How mm. to follow up these cases to uh, amazing also the follow up yes the follow up so and it's the different continuous stages. testing for these mm. infected people providing them with a uh, suitable treatment until uh, the end and uh, till be uh, cured totally from this uh, type of infection so mm. uh, it's a great effort actually and uh, also um, about more than 50 million sat Egyptian citizens were tested against virus C infection and also about uh, four million people take the treatment. So it's, mm. uh, it was very important uh, uh, initiative and also achieved a lot of goals. Mm. And it's loca the location of those initiatives, uh, it's located everywhere like other... Uh... Yes, it's also divided into uh, three sectors, uh, uh, different uh, governorates. And they began also with the low-income uh, governorates uh, to uh, provide the citizen in mm. poor uh, villages and something the, the like that. The ones with uh, the people, I mean the communities with the less awareness. Yes, yes. And mm. after that, uh, they continue to the second and third stage. Uh, every stage has different sectors or different governorates, uh, different regions in each. Mm. That is uh, thanks to God uh, in uh, Egypt. Mm. What about Africa? Egypt mm. also have taken a leap in Africa. Yes. It has conquered mm. the virus in Africa. If you like to elaborate. Yes, it's um, leadership. <laughs> of e Egypt has a good leadership in that way mm. because it offers uh, the, uh, uh, or and the transferring the experience uh, how to treat, with, how to deal with virus C infection, how they uh, uh, plan for the eradication and the elimination of the virus from Egypt. So they transfer the software and they transfer the method of treatments. Mm. They transfer the experience, uh, human power. So they have a good rule uh, to uh, help uh, um, about 14 uh, African countries in that way. Mm. 14 different yes. African mm. countries. Uh, so uh, also, uh, um, what about Egypt's role when it comes to treating malaria, mm. which, is a, which is one of the worst uh, problems in uh, different countries in uh, Africa? Yes, uh, malaria is a febrile uh, disease. Uh, it uh, caused by protozoa, uh, Plasmodium flacipirum, uh, and uh, this type of uh, infection transmitted by Anopheles mosquito, type of mosquitoes. So, oh. uh, uh, and it was affected even years and years. As one also was oh. uh, infected with a lot of cases uh, of Different, malaria. I mean, a selected type of mosquitoes. But yes, not Anopheles, all mosquitoes. Anopheles mosquitoes, this oh. type of mosquito transmits this type of protozoal infection uh, mm. and uh, lead to uh, um, yeah, some what are symptoms. The symptoms. Yes, uh, it's what a are febrile the fever. Uh, like uh, yeah, it's febrile disease, uh, fever is a I mean symptoms of it, and uh, it can affect the uh, people uh, make inflammation or something like that. But it's a curable disease, can be prevented easily if uh, if we offer the appropriate treatment to it. So mm -hmm. uh, the main way of uh, protection against the malaria was uh, mosquito nets, uh, mosquito repellent, uh, using uh, some uh, uh, insecticides. Uh, sleeping in uh, air conditioned area, closed area, uh, so uh, something like that was mm -hmm. uh, anti protozoal uh, treatment. So, mm -hmm. in that case, uh, Egypt uh, was uh, successful to treat malaria and also transfer this uh, experience to African to countries. African countries. About one million um, uh, individual was treated with the same experience in uh, Africa. Right. Well, uh, Dr. Iman Merzou, you are a professor of virology. We're truly overwhelmed with this bulk of uh, information. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. That's very valuable. Yeah. You have a beautiful day. And uh, we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show. So stay with us.